Welcome to another Growth Mindset episode. I think we're on episode seven. It's what's the date today, right? July 18th. We both had to check because we're having that much fun. You know, we're we're <laughs> we're making it happen. Um, welcome to another Growth Mindset episode. Today, I want to talk a little bit about the idea of how important it is when you decide you want something, if you begin with the end in mind, which is one of the principles that we live by, how important it is when you set that goal to continue to have discipline and consistency in getting towards that goal. If we were to take social media and the podcast as an example, when we decided, it took me a while to decide because I know once I commit, I'm going to be disciplined and consistent behind it. But it took me a while to decide once we decided that we were going to go down that journey, the amount of consistency and discipline we had to put into it, even when we didn't feel like it, the amount of discipline and consistency that we had to put into it every single day, that's what starts to create little glimpses of success. And we're far from where we're going to go. But if we didn't consistently try to put out the videos, have the consistency and the discipline to do it, then we wouldn't get a little bit better every single time. And without doing that, then we wouldn't see the improvement. So it's the small consistency, the small discipline to go and do it every single day once you commit, that's all those small actions. That's what's in the end when we look back 10 years from now. That's what's going to be all the small little actions. That's what's going to create whatever it will become in the future. And I think that, you know, the one thing that especially in the creative outlet that comes sometimes is like, oh, I don't feel like it. Well, when you're trying to do something big and when you're trying to really do something we taught we know we need consistency and discipline so guess what if you don't feel like it i'm sorry but you have to do it anyways and that's hard sometimes like that's really hard i remember when we were first making videos like this on a sunday sundays were my nights i would go and do it and i put the kids to sleep and we lived out of town you know 20 minute drive to the office 15 minute drive to the office and i put the kids to sleep i'm so tired it's eight o'clock nine o'clock and i have to drive down because i'm committed to doing this thing i didn't feel like it but i'm committed to doing this thing i drive in and i do it anyways i spend two hours make the videos anyways and it's that that moment of when you promise yourself something, you say, hey, I want this. I want this big dream. I'm going to put discipline and consistency behind it. But that moment, initially you have great energy, but that moment that you don't feel like it, who are you going to be in that moment that you don't feel like it? Are you going to then just because you don't feel like it, give up on the promise you've given to yourself? Or are you going to follow through, like put your feelings aside, follow through. And it's hard in a creative world to do it. But guess what? If you want something big, you're not always going to feel like it. So you have to fight through that and maintain the promise you've made to yourself to be consistent and disciplined. That's a huge part. That's one thing I'm thinking about a lot because there's a lot of times I don't feel like it. Do you think I even felt like doing this today? We filmed today. I traveled from, I was on the coast looking at our projects there, have a bunch of problems going on in the business. Do you think I feel like doing it? No, but I did it anyways because I'm committed to it. And I know that consistency and discipline over time is going to get us where we want to go. So that's, that's one piece that is, is really ringing true for us right now. Another one I was thinking about is when we start podcasts in general, we have a little saying you know, saying that we live by. And I was thinking back to when we created that. That was actually on a run that we created that. And I was thinking about what what matters in life, you know, what actually matters. And that's where we came up with, it's not about what you have, it's about who you have. Because who you have really matters in life. It's not about where you live, it's about how you live. Because if you live with passion, that's what matters in life. And it's not about what you do, it's about why you do it. Because the reasons in the deep core of why we do something, that's what really matters. So when I ask myself the question, question of what matters, the answers I got was what I tell you guys every podcast we open up. And the only other thing I would add, and on that same realization during that same run, I thought a a lot about the one thing that's finite, which is time. And I ask myself every day, right, we, we each get this allotted amount of time. And we, o- we each only get the moment. And I always challenge myself and I ask myself, and I'm not perfect at this, but I ask myself, I know I only have a certain amount of time left in this life, a certain amount of time left in this life with my wife, with my children, with my best friends, with my business, with my family, my father, my mother, my sister, my brother, the people I love, I only have a certain allotted amount of time with them right? There's only so many more moments I'm going to get with them. So when I get those moments 
Am I going to be distracted, floating, not there, subconsciously there? You know what I'm talking about. You know when you're there but you're not there. I do it. I'm not perfect at this. I do it a lot. Distracted, right? But what if that was the last moment you had with them? So my question and my challenge to myself every day is, you know, you only have these certain allotted moments of time. And my question is, are you going to take the moment, Dirk? Are you going to take the moment or are you going to let the moment take you? And with that, we're going to close out the Growth Mindset Episode 7. You know we love you guys. Thanks for tuning in and we will see you on the next one, baby.